Good morning and welcome to Morning Meditation, Ephesians 6, 5. Servants, be obedient to them that are your masters according to the flesh, with fear and trembling and singleness of your heart as unto Christ, not with eye service as men pleasers, but as servants of Christ doing the will of God from the heart, with good will doing services to the Lord, not to men, knowing that whatsoever good thing any man doeth, the same shall he receive of the Lord, whether he be bond or free. And ye masters do the same things unto them, forbearing threatening, knowing that your master also in heaven, neither is their respective persons with him. And uh, this premier passage, obviously we spoke about the husband-wife relationship, the parent-child. Uh, this would be the employer-employee, master-servant, and realize if we're saved, uh, our number one priority is to be a servant of the Lord. Uh, we're not working for that business or that person in particular. Uh, and if you're struggling in that area, 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 15 through 18 will help you, even if the person you're working for is difficult to work for. God knows the circumstances you're in. He knows the people you're working with, working for. Uh, if you're one of the masters, you own a business. Uh, treat people as Christ would treat them. That doesn't mean let people walk over you. Uh, sometimes it comes down to the fact people just aren't doing their job. And uh, we have a nation that's being taught, hey, you don't have to work. You can get stuff for free. The Bible says if a man doesn't work, he shouldn't eat. And uh, that would solve a lot of the hunger problems in America today. Solve a lot of the unemployment problems. Uh, it's absolutely ridiculous. People have to be paid 15 to $18 an hour to flip hamburgers at McDonald's. Now, is there anything wrong with flipping hamburgers at McDonald's? Absolutely not. But there is when our attitude is that's not enough uh, to get paid. Uh, we're supposed to live by faith and not by sight. And uh, too many people want everything handed to them. They want an easy life and they want a guarantee. There's nothing in the Bible that says that. And uh, as a servant uh, answering to our master, we need to practice the principle of submission. That doesn't mean you always have to agree with the leader, but you need to follow him as you would follow Christ. And uh, too many Christians, well, this is what I think. Um, can I help you out this morning? God doesn't care what we think. What he thinks is important and uh, what he tells us to do, we need to obey and obey with a good spirit. And boy, when we do that, we submit to the Lord. It frees the Lord up to take care of everything else for us. There's the performance of submission. And I've mentioned this before. Uh, every job I've worked at, I've showed up a half an hour early, stayed a half an hour late, uh, worked through lunch breaks, didn't complain about it, didn't ask extra pay for it. Why? Because I want to have a good testimony as a Christian. Servants, there's a, we understand the principle of submission, but the practice of submission, the performance of submission is another thing. But God tells us this in verse uh, 5 through 7. Uh, not with eye service as men pleasers, but as servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart. Now, every one of us knows somebody that does what they do to please the people around them, and it seems like they get promoted and they get away with things, and stop focusing on that. Do what you do because you're doing it for the Lord Jesus Christ. You're doing it to be a good testimony. Uh, you're doing it to serve the Lord, and when... The end of the day comes, it's not the uh, boss that's going to balance the paycheck. God will balance the paycheck. God can cause your paycheck to go a whole lot further than you need it to and bless you with so much more when you obey the principle and practice the principle of submission. Uh, what's the payment for submission? Uh, knowing that whatsoever good thing any man doth, the same shall he receive of the Lord, whether he be bond or free. If the master treats the servant correctly, the business owner treats the employees correctly, or we as an employee uh, obey even the, the, the master we don't agree with, but we do it uh, to the Lord, the Lord's the one that's going to pay us back. And boy, there's not a better paymaster than the Lord. Uh, he gives us salvation. He gives us the Holy Spirit. Uh, he gives us gifts. 
and he expects us to serve him with that. A Christian, get out there and do a good job for the Lord. Be a good testimony today. God bless you and have a great day.